All right, and welcome back. We're actually here in Jadil's house, uh, having rested here the night before. And uh, previously, we came back here with his spell book. But upon giving it to him, he promptly teleported away. <laughs> well, he was not happy about that. But I guess on the bright side, we've actually recovered a few pieces of the Baldurin treasure, including uh, the Sword of Baldurin, his logbook, actually, which Mendes wanted. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> the uh, Butter Knife of Baldurin. So I think Lily's hoping that these items might be worth something back in Boulder's Gate or Olga's Beard. Plus, we have a few odds and ends. This uh, dolly, not sure how we know, but property of a girl named Farthing. I don't believe we've met. Plus, actually, a toddler <laughs> named uh, Peladin, covered from the wolfware's lair. So I think Lily would actually like to find... Uh, his or her parents or guardian, probably back in the village. All right. By Tempo, if Tempus wills it. But uh, before returning to Kaishis to report the death of Karog, Lily actually wants to investigate uh, this sail that we've seen here over the ridge. And I guess we can actually use clairvoyance. They called. Probably get a better look. I. All right. Certainly looks like a functioning ship. I guess the question is, how do you actually get there? Also, I think Lil is a little surprised. She thought that uh, the village wasn't actually working on a ship yet, but maybe they have been. They just haven't been there. Alright, here's something. It almost looks like a mine shaft. Alright. So, accessible underground only, I what guess. Is your a fine. Just gonna double check that we didn't miss a trap door. No. Maybe then, uh, or must be some type of trap door, probably back in the village. Maybe in the chief's hut. Something like that. Five. All right. It is a fine day to die. All right, so we're going to return to the village, uh, talk to Kaishis, and report that uh, Karag has been slain. So they can begin, begin work on the ship, I guess. Salutations. All right, here's Kryla, who actually we met, I think, the previous day. But she said uh, Jondal, her lover, had been turned into a werewolf. Apparently she's feeding him tonight. <laughs> Man. All right. She must be infected as well. I think I'm gonna see if uh, we were even noticed. Sounds like it. Yeah. Hello. Cool. Nature is you on. point. I punch. This is actually, I think, the first time that Minsk will be using the uh, sword of Baldurin. Whatever they need. All right, down here using the wand. What? Scorcher. By Tempo Shield. Yes. With my ear. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. I don't have enough of this. Go for the eyes. Is what is it? That card. Krylas dropped something over here. I will do that. Let's talk more fight. Bull plate and packing steel. But Jondal is probably over here as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Wow, he's he quick. Whatever they need. Probably taking the same approach. What? 
except uh, I guess a preemptive view. Do you want something? Tempest, give us victory! In my heart, my okay, Wanda Magic Missiles used up. Yes? So I guess there passes the uh, werewolf, the werewolf lovers, or wolfware lovers. <laughs> Actually, uh, that was bothering me for a while. I thought uh, werewolf and wolfware were interchangeable, and they're not. What is your command? It is a fine day to die. All right, so we're actually going to return to uh, the village. Okay. I guess trying to avoid that pack of wolves. I guess we're a little concerned. At least probably thinking maybe we shouldn't have left around midnight. <laughs> Should have probably waited for daybreak. Actually, you know what? I think we're going to do that. She's not out here to uh, hunt wolf wares. It was simply to get uh, a slake cowrog and uh, report back to Kaishis. Kaishis. Alright. So hopefully, this will lessen the uh, chance of an encounter. But yeah, it turns out that uh, a wolf ware. Is actually a creature or a species, I guess, in its own right. It's actually given its own entry in the, I guess, second edition monster manual, which actually I think was called, I don't know, Monster Compendium, maybe? But uh, it's differentiated from a werewolf, which is simply, I guess, a humanoid under the, I guess, magical curse or effects of lycanthropy. So there is a distinction. But I'm a little bit confused because we just saw... Uh, I think it was Crystal and Jondal. Two humans. Yet, when they transformed, they were called uh, wolf wares. But maybe their true natural form is... <laughs> just that, as a wolf ware, and they can assume human shape. And that werewolves are exactly the opposite naturally human, and they just assume a wolf shape. Not really sure, actually. I guess the important part is there's actually a difference. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Alright. Hello. 